Hey, how's it going? Well, in my video regarding the whole yin-yang thing, Brian J1962 asked a question in the comments. Basically asking, well, are you saying that in 2015 that was all about what is not Kazoom? And initially I answered, well, possibly. I didn't really know how to answer it. Because it was kind of a tough question. And so you know, I started looking through uh, my videos, all the videos I made from 2013 to current. One of the things with me is if someone makes me question something about my current views, and I really question it, I will go through and try to see how it applies to uh, all the other aspects to me. I mean, because so many different parts about our mindset are interconnected. So, you know, sometimes I'll be asked, I'll, I'll be look, I, I'm a little distracted. Sometimes I will look at something all the way down the line, apply it to just about everything I can in my mind, and it ends up sticking. It becomes a permanent part of the way I think. Other times, it won't be permanent. It'll just be something I really, really look into and then eventually lead back to the general position I had previous. Although, at that point, I will have understood another perspective in a very, very, very thorough manner. So, the thing is, when I look at it from afar, in the times when it doesn't stick, it could be viewed as, well, like an actor uh, really, really looking deeply into their part and living their part. And that kind of principle, I mean, if I look at it from afar, can kind of apply. And at that time that I was looking at that, it was my beliefs. It still doesn't make it any less of using the same kind of concept that some actors do with that. And you know, some parts that actors play end up becoming part of their personality. So that's kind of the same way in that regard, but even when they, they don't adopt those new ways, it doesn't mean that they weren't expressing a part of themselves, but One of my problems that I've had for a long time is instead of saying, well, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I'll go, well, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm stupid. I'm probably wrong. I'm ignorant. I'm probably wrong. And that's not... That's not the best method. It isn't. But it's what I've tended to do. And more recently, I've realized how many different types of mindsets and philosophies and
political views, ideologies that I've seriously, seriously looked into and have still come back mostly to who I was before I really tried to live those things. It just makes it It's, it makes it easier for me to be more solid on my current position. I mean, there have been some points where I've been so open-minded that my brain falls out. <laughs> Figuratively, anyway, you know? And there is a point where that can, that can occur. And there are some ideologies where that's kind of the normal thing. Like some of the progressive leftists, some of them, who are not willing to speak negatively about Islam itself. I mean, I understand not speaking against Muslims, but some, some leftist progressives won't say anything negative about Islam. And it's just like, yeah, is your, has your brain fallen out? And maybe it kind of has. They're trying to be good people. And I guess that must be the frustrating thing when so many people are dealing with those with that mindset. Hold on, checking my shoes. So much horse shit on this trail. Um, it's one of the only trails around that allows horses on it, so. Um, so I understand, man, it's just interesting how, I mean, if I'm not talking and I'm walking on these trails while being this heavy, if I'm not talking, I don't get so out of breath, but when I start talking a lot, man, I get out of breath. Um, serves me right for wanting to be heavy, right? <laughs> but yeah, I, I look back and I'm going, well, it's not like I've been being fake. I've been genuinely trying to understand different viewpoints. And I've often understood them to a further degree than most people who do not hold those positions. But unfortunately, I've reached this point now where I'm like, no, all of that line of thinking is bullshit. Because it demonizes this group and this... I mean, no matter what the mindset is, there are some groups that get demonized. There are some thoughts that get looked at as... as fucked up. Um, there are some people that... suffer to a degree, and some people that benefit to a degree. And I've found... You know, I'm now a lot more solid in what I believe is an acceptable uh, set of groups to be demonized and put up on a pedestal. Um, and there are always exceptions. Always. But I've, I've gotten a lot more solid in my views. And there are some things I'm just going to call bullshit out and just not even pay attention to because I've been there. I've done that. I've lived that. 
and I know the negative sides to it. So I, I choose not to to take those views. I choose not to take those views very seriously. And I also know that there are some things, some viewpoints, that when someone goes full force into them, the only thing that's going to change a person's view in those areas is life experience, and usually the type of life experience that deals with, you know, other people. Because with one small, trivial exception, the world consists of other people. That's just how it is. And if your world only cares about a very, very tiny percentage of people and says, fuck everyone else, I think there's something kind of wrong. But there are always going to be, no matter what mindset you have, there are always going to be the people that you, basically, your mindset says, fuck you to. That's just how it goes. There's no getting around that. And some of figuring out who you are is figuring out what set of those things you're willing to accept. I hope that makes sense. If not, well, then this is just a ranting like a lunatic in a forested area. So either way, thanks for watching.